it's a Bruce Springsteen deck, right? Call it Bruce, oh, because really nice, now, well, the cards will all be mixed up in, in different orders, right? Yeah. Now, when we mix cards, first I like to start off by doing this little. Uh, blue ring and blue watch. I like to do this. Uh, this. Uh, I call this uh, me East Face Shuffle. Uh, me East Face Shuffle. can't say Shuffle. East Face Shuffle. So, yeah. uh, when we cut the deck, you know, people cut the deck, they always cut with a different card, wherever the card would be. It yeah. doesn't really matter. Will you please give the deck one cut before we start the trick? Now, think about this, right? This is right. the story of Bruce Springsteen. I've been a Bruce Springsteen fan for about 40 years now. 40 years, right? 40 years. Now, <laughs> <laughs> I am not his number one fan, but I'm a big fan. Yeah. Now many years ago in the old days, new music fans would say that Elvis Presley, Elvis Presley was the king of rock and roll. Do you remember to say that? <laughs> or you always thought Bruce Springsteen was the real king of rock and roll. Mm. Now, Bruce Springsteen always had a hungry heart. And you know what they say, two hearts are better than one. Yeah. Anyway, this is about Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen was born in the USA on the 23rd of the 9th, 1949. Yeah, which makes Bruce, don't tell me about, I have to do mathematics here, 64, 65, no, sorry, 66. <laughs> 66 years old and still rocking and rolling. Yeah. Anyway, this is the story of Bruce. I'll cut the deck. I had a dream. That's his music. I had a dream. Yeah. had a dream. It was there, uh, well, I, think, I think it was the 4th of July, Ashbury Park. I was staying in a hotel watching the TV. It was 57 channels, but there was nothing on. I thought I'd go down, I'd go down to the bar, maybe uh, have two or three drinks. Mm. When all of a sudden, in walked a beautiful lady. Well, she looked like a queen. I said, yeah. who are you? She said, I'm the queen of Arkansas. I said, oh, I thought you were a Jersey girl. I said, have you ever been to Philadelphia? No, she said, but it was to Nebraska once. I said, well, that's cool. I said, can I ask you something? I said, they say it's rude to ask a lady her age, but what weight are you? Oh, she said, you're some fucking joker. <laughs> I said, oh, yeah, I'm, I like a joke. I said, but by the way, I said, I'm a Bruce Springsteen fan. I'm going to see Bruce. I said, I always said if we played in Crow Park, I would be there. I'd be on Hill 16. She said, I'm a friend of Bruce Springsteen. We can get you to meet him. They say, never meet your heroes. I said, are you sure? She said, no problem. She said, I'll give him a ring there. So she rings Bruce three or four times, but there's no answer. Then it went real quiet, and all of a sudden, her phone rang. Three times. It was Bruce Springsteen. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, Bruce Springsteen rang three. Right? Mm. He said, I'm on my way over. He said, I'll be there in the way. He said, I'm stuck in traffic. He said, it was an incident on 57th Street. Bit of a wreck on the highway, if you know what I mean. He said, he'll be there in five minutes. Five minutes past. Guess who walks in the door? Bruce Springsteen. No, that was Presley. I'm joking. Call us <laughs> the boss himself, Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> Bruce said, How are you, Brian? I go, How are you, boss? He goes, would you like a game of cards? I said, blackjack. So me, Bruce, and Mary, I go and have a game of cards. So I get three eights and two jacks. That's like a house, isn't it? Yeah. Mary, she does well. She's the queen. So she gets three queens and two queens. That's like a better house, isn't it? Uh -huh. but you know what they say about Bruce Springsteen? Bruce Springsteen is always born to run. Not only born to run, but born to have a straight one. <laughs> and that's the end of my story. Ah, very Bruce good. Springsteen. Do you like it? Very good. Thanks very much. Thank you. Very, very good.